Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing the content of this video. Do not, I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behavior shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video with your boy, Sabby G. I just got back from Hall of Flowers. I didn't really get too much stuff while I was out there because there was really nothing that really caught my interest, but I did end up getting two things while I was there. Number one is gonna be this bad boy right here, which is gonna be a pre-roll, but it's actually not just any normal pre-roll, all right? So this right here is called The Rockets by RNBW. Never really heard of the brand. I guess they were showcasing their stuff right there at Hall of Flowers. They handed this to me and the team. They actually handed a couple of them, but this is the one that I actually ended up with, and that was gonna be the Frosty Freeze. Now, this isn't just any regular old pre-roll, right, ladies and gentlemen? This one right here, it comes with premium flower, hash, live diamonds, and also live terpenes, all right? So th that is just the craziest thing that I've ever freaking heard, all right? Usually it just has like maybe Keeve or maybe just hash, but this right here has damn near everything from hash, live diamonds, and even terpenes. But I'm not gonna get into it today. This is actually gonna be dropping on my Hall of Flowers vlog video, so make sure that you check that video out if you are interested in seeing that little review on this, right? Now the second thing that I ended up getting while I was at Hall of Flowers was this little disposable right here. Now this disposable just so happens to be a dab woods and it's my first time ever even having a dab wood, all right? I remember when they first came out, I believe they were black market and they were just had not the best reputation because everything in the black market was just getting trashed on. I personally, like I said, have never tried it so I never really knew if it was good or not. But now it just so happens that they're in a lot of legal dispos, at least here in California, and they're supposed to be really, really freaking good, all right? Or at least that's what a lot of people were saying. Now, the reason that I do not have the box is because the booth where I was at, one of the team members went over there to the Dabwood station, and they got it from them themselves, right? It didn't have the packaging, they didn't tell me what strain it was, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to find out throughout this video. Now, another thing that I don't really know is whether this is Disty, Live Resin, Live Rosin, because it doesn't say, all right? So I'm going to try to literally take a couple of hits and try to give you guys the true representation as to what I think this is. Everything from the strain flavor, whether it's distillate, live resin, or live rosin. I feel like when it comes down to it, my palate knows the difference between every single one of them. So without further ado, let's go in and start trying the Dab Woods Disposable. Now, the cool thing that I didn't know up until like the past day that I was at Hall of Flowers was that this disposable is actually made by silicon, right? You guys have seen me make so many different freaking videos on silicon. One of the most best up and coming, actually they're not even up and coming. They're li they've literally been around for years and they make some of the best disposables ever. And it just so happens that Dab Woods uses the Solo One to make all of their disposables, right? They really like their technology. They really like the way that they hit. And I, I agree with them. These things hit phenomenal. Without further ado, let's go ahead and give my official taste test review on the dab woods, all right, ladies and gentlemen. But before we get started, don't forget to freaking subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Turn on the noties, leave a fat like for the algorithm, and let's go in on our first hit. So right off the rip, I can already tell you that this right here is gonna be a live resin. Live resin just has the most distinct like flavoring. I feel like every single live resin that I've ever tried has such a similar taste to it. It doesn't matter whether the freaking strain is gelato and you have an indica, and then you have the other live resin is gonna be a sativa, super silver haze, and they're all just gonna kind of taste the same to me. And this right here, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm 100% sure that it just so happens to be a live resin. And when you look at the oil in the light, it does have that amberish color that we all know and love from live resin. Now that we know exactly what this is, I kind of want to figure out what the strain flavor is, right? It, I'm kind of getting some nuances of like a creaminess, a little bit of like sweetness, not that much earthiness, but this thing's tasting phenomenal. I mean, off of the first Ripperino, the effects are already starting to kick in. And when it comes down to live resin, I personally am not the biggest fan of live resin. You guys already know that. I would literally much rather chief on distillate because I feel like number one, it tastes better. And number two, it gets you more schmacked, right? I don't know what it is about live resin. If it's not done right, it 
it, it doesn't really get me smacked at all, right? But this one right here, I must have to say, it might be a little bit on the better side of live resins because I'm not getting any irritation to cough. It's been smooth all the way through and the flavor on it is like, it, 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 even though it tastes generic, like most light resins do, it has like a cleaner taste to it and a little bit more of a more potent taste, if that makes sense, right? So let me go in on a couple more hits. That way we could actually identify what this bad boy is tasting like. Yeah, this is hard to tell, bro. Really, really hard to tell. But what I'm starting to lean towards more is this is either gonna be like a runt's cross or just gelato by itself, but that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. Mostly because I'm getting a lot more sweetness and I'm getting like a slight hint of earthiness on the back end, but it just has that like kind of like runcy type flavor to it. And I'm, I'm kind of digging it, all right? I'm not disliking this, not even the slightest bit. And so far this thing is hitting so good. In terms of the disposable, for those of you who are kind of curious as to what features this has, this does not have USB-C unfortunately, it does have micro USB, which is one of the only things that I really might not like really agree with when it comes down to these. I do wish that they had the USB-C because those things charge so quick and if these are gonna be dying, then might as well add something so we can get back to hitting them ASAP, you know? When it comes down to micro USB, USB, I just feel like it takes way too damn long. And I believe silicon has their little patented like ceramic technology that they don't really have to raise the wattage too high in order to get a good amount of clouds. Now we all know whenever you're using a lower wattage, you're not gonna really get the best clouds. You might not even get any at all, but you're gonna get a shit ton of freaking terps, all right? Now, in order to get a lot more clouds, you obviously have to raise it, but then you're sacrificing the terps. And there's something about their patented ceramic technology Technology, that you get the best of both worlds without them having to turn up the wattage too much, all right? So you're gonna get a decent amount of clouds and at the same time, you're just gonna get crazy amount of terpenes. And the pulls that I'm taking right here, ladies and gentlemen, are only gonna be maybe around four to five seconds, nothing more. I have not taken a blinker off of this just because off of the five seconds, I'm already getting a decent amount of clouds. It's definitely causing lung expansion, causing a little bit of warmth in this to get down the way. And it's like, it's pretty freaking nice. I'm not gonna lie. Like I said earlier, I'm not really the biggest fan of live resins just because they're never done right. Literally, even companies who are supposed to be specialists at making live resin, right? They've been doing this for freaking generations, or at least they claim. They can't even make some good live resin carts. They're dark as shit. They taste like ass. They don't get you faded. And some people, some people like that shit though. I don't really know. Like, I'm not gonna say any company names out there, but there's like very few select live resin brands. And some people are really, really hooked on those things. Where in my opinion, I just feel like if I'm gonna be getting a cartridge, it's either gonna be a distillate or it's gonna be a live rosin. I don't think there's ever been a time in my life where I'm like, bro, I really am craving a freaking live resin pen, you know? Especially when you have the option to get these types of things. I just feel like going with distillate or even live rosin is a far better option than going with live resin. And that's just my own personal opinion. We all know that live resin tends to be a bit more expensive than distillate. And if the distillate is getting you smacked and it tastes better than the live resin, then what's really stopping you, you feel me? So let's go in on one more hit and that way we could get down to the final results on what I'm gonna be rating this bad boy. Smooth all the way through, I'm telling you, tasty. And I think I've came to the conclusion that this definitely has to be some type of like gelato cross, if not just gelato itself or maybe even runts because this right here, I'm just getting like that, that like creamy sweetness and a little bit of like earthiness on the back end, but it's mostly just sweetness, right? And in terms of the smoothness, I already covered that super freaking smooth. I haven't even coughed not even one single time throughout this video and I'm not even lying. I think the most important part is just gonna have to be the effects, right? Now when it comes down to live resins, I feel like they don't really get me as blasted as I want them to. But this bad boy right here, it, it's putting in work, all right? It's actually putting in work because the effects 
effects are starting to seep in, it's definitely more of a progressive type feeling and that's usually what you, what live resins do. It's not a boom slap you in your face, it's kind of, you, ca you have to take a couple of hits, you have to wait a couple of minutes, that way it starts to kick in. I don't know, I think it's the entourage effect of the live resin that it's not the strongest entourage effect like you would get from live rosin and maybe that's why it doesn't kick in as fast but yeah at the end of the day what would i rate this bad boy everything from the flavor super gas everything from the smoothness gas and there's really nothing to complain about right so in terms of like live resin disposable this might be one of the best and i would have to rate this bad boy a good 8.0 out of 2 right 8.0 out of 2 that's going to be my final rating for this dab wood that we don't know what exact strain it is but it's fire to say the least right ladies and gentlemen so with all that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed today's quick little video if you did do me a big favor by leaving a fat like to help it with the algorithm subscribe to the channel if you're new here leave anything you want down below in the comments and we'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video